Hi, welcome back to the channel. It's week 28, and as you can see by my attire and location, we're traveling to Marathon Weekend, finally! <laughs> It's Thursday morning, about, oh, I already have my GPS on. It's like 6.15, 6.20, 6.30, something. Um, and we are at Winter Garden RV Resort. This was our little stopover because I didn't originally make my Fort Wilderness reservation with the charity luncheon in mind. So I had to find just some random spot and we drove on a Wednesday. So we go to luncheon today, but that's all just rambling. We're going to take a little jog around the campground uh, to get just a little bit of time on my feet before I start really resting for, uh, for Saturday. Um, I tell you what, we're not in Georgia anymore. It is humid and warm. Uh, but it's not terribly warm, but we're just going to take a little jog. This will be good practice because I was told by Sisters Run the World YouTube, I'm excited to meet them today, um, that the Osmo Pocket is best uh, for low light. Um, because, you know, all my GoPro footage um, from Princess at low light was pretty bad. But they're like, the Osmo Pocket is better to, for low light, so we're going to give it a little test today. This is our low light test. Oh, it says no face detected. Okay, that's good. <laughs> So just a couple miles around the little campground here. Um, this place is okay for like an overnight stop, like what we're doing, but I tell you what, they pack you in here. Look at this. We weren't sure we were gonna be able to fit in our spot, but we made it work. You see how there's meters at each one? That means there's full timers. Oh, see, there you go. There's meters, so there, and you can tell in the back that there's um, full timers. <laughs> These people next to us like Christmas. What? Look at this. Got the branch, nativity, and there's your little touch of Disney right there. <laughs> All right, we're gonna shower and head over to Disney. I'll give you our final Meb lesson here in seconds. I apologize for the Amy wet hair look, but I'm still in the process of getting ready to drive over to Disney. Ah, so excited, but I wanted to make sure that I closed out this video with our last Meb lesson. I also haven't had coffee yet. Um, so this is the, the epilogue of the book, um, and it's very short, but I gotta find it first. There we go. But he calls his epilogue The Run Never Ends, which I, I appreciated the title. Um, we're, we're at the end of this 28 goofy challenge journey um, and it, it's been quite an experience and I've learned a lot about running I've learned a lot from this book um, and how you know part of the purpose of his this book was not to only to apply each lesson to running but to apply it to life and I mean I really have um, 
learning how to work through pain, well, running its physical pain, but life, we have ups and downs and how to overcome those and how God gives us the strength to do that. Um, you know, things like that. Just, I, I, uh, Kristen running a makeup said it in one of her goofy videos. I think it was one of her, oh, I'm sure it was her goofy training videos from back, back in the day. We really wasn't that long ago, but she said, um, that she had read a quote um, train for a marathon and not have it not change you or something like that. It's it, basically saying it's impossible to do something like this and not grow from it and not learn from it. But, um, I actually, when I was reading this epilogue and was figuring out what I wanted to share, I decided I just, I wanted to read exactly what he wrote, um, in two different sections of his epilogue. Um, cause I just really liked it. And I, you know, if I tear up, I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> cause it just, this whole thing has been quite an experience. Um, he says, some world-class runners love racing, but don't really enjoy training. That was never me. I always enjoyed training, both the daily pleasure of running and the process of building toward a meaningful goal. Being retired from professional racing doesn't mean being retired from being a runner. I simply love the feeling of running. I love being fit, healthy, and lean, and using the body that God gave me in the way it's meant to be used. I love to run, and I hope to always be able to do it. And then he also says, I did 26 marathons over 15 years, one for each mile of the race. I learned that the marathon can hate you or love you. <laughs> it can make you go through misery or experience the greatest joy. I learned that no matter what happens, eventually you'll look back and think, that was a beautiful thing. I'm glad I did, th did it. That's how I feel about each of my marathons and about my competitive career as a whole. So I'm going to keep running. And I, I feel that same way. I'm going to... I'm gonna run until they tell me not to and even if they tell me not to I might figure out a way to do something because I really do love really do love doing this um, so I hope you know I'm hoping to get this today's Thursday like I said we're getting ready to pack up here at uh, Winter Garden RV and drive over uh, to Fort Wilderness um, and just start start the weekend so um, by the time this goes up, I hope to get this up by this afternoon. Um, I may have met some of you already. Uh, I look forward to s seeing everybody. Um, I loved looking at the uh, post from the 5K this morning. Um, costumes are always epic for the 5K because it's just very easy going. So I just, I still feel quite, um, quite nervous. And I really don't know why, because I, really, I don't even think I was this nervous to do that last simulation. Um, and I don't know if it's just because I haven't trained in Florida and I'm thinking about the humidity and that it's warmer here. I don't know why I'm nervous, but I keep taking those nerves and just thinking about the, the comments saying that this is my victory lap. This is supposed to be fun. This isn't supposed to be scary. Um, this, this is the fun part. Uh, and Disney does a great job of making it very fun. So um, we can do this. I'm, I've got all the, all the things. Oh, I'm wearing a raw threads my you can't see it I, the camera probably will not let you see it because I have it on facial tracking but you'll see it in my in my next video for uh, for the expo but I'm wearing raw threads and I've got my my goofy bracelet and I've got the earrings my I'm, I'm I'm wearing all the things and just super excited so I need to go finish getting ready before my husband gets back from the store because I didn't bring enough water <laughs> so uh, be sure to give this video a like uh, comment what have you learned from from training, whether whether you're training for a 5K or a challenge, what has training taught you for um, for this training cycle? And uh, be sure to subscribe because I am going to be <laughs> pumping out the marathon weekend videos as fast as I can edit them. Just because I can't wait to to go through all the stuff at the end of all this and put something wonderful together that even I can look back on. Always remember that you are God's masterpiece, and I'll see you in the next video for the expo and Kelsey's Hope Lunch. Also, I forgot to mention that my orthotics did come on time, so yay for that. We are almost there.